Hello everyone, welcome back to our Coding Nader for Tutorials. As part of our user management module, in this session, we are going to discuss about change password of the logged in user. Once the user logged in, in the early session, we seen how can we change the profile pic. Now the user is going to change his password. Change password, if the user clicks on this, we have to display a form to change his password. We know already the change password form may contain old password and a new password and confirm new password. The old password you entered is matched with the DB password and the password and the confirm password both are matched and old password should be matched with the DB and password and confirm password should be matched. If they are matched, we are going to update the data into database. The only password fail. Let us see how we can implement it. First of all, let me provide a link for this here. We don't have any link for this change password and let us create one function in the dashboard and go to your base.ph so this is our change password let me provide this guys dashboard slash change password just I'm providing a link here dashboard slash C H A N G E. yes this is my function now then let me create this quickly so go to your controller dashboard controller and define one more function public function this is change password function in this we have to load a view let us load a view and before loading a view but we need to do one thing as here that is nothing but we have to get the logged in user data let us get the logged in user data and we have to pass to the view right okay first of all let us take data equal to empty array data equal to empty array and we have to get the logged in user data based on the session also and let me write written view this view is going to be change password underscore view this is the view file i'm going to create now guys so let us create the view quickly and to this we are going to pass the data of the logged in user let us go to the views folder and quickly create this file <coughs> so php file change password view in this we have to load we have to extend the header and uh, uh, we have to keep the placeholder and we have to keep the content placeholder as well. Yes guys, my view skeleton is ready. I just uh, include the layout base.php. After that, this is going to be the page title and this is our section. Here, we are going to create a form that is nothing but change password form. To this, we have to pass the data and go to your thing and let us get the model data also. I mean logged in user data we are going to pass to this and let us go and let us refresh this page and just refresh it and let us see whether we are getting the logged in user data now I need to go to change password view click on it now you went to this and you are getting all the information perfectly let us create the form quickly and go to your editor and uh, this is our view here I have to create form open form close this is multi pot is not required here because we are not uploading any file here so earlier we take in multi pot because we are uploading form so this is anyhow we are going to enter say kind of plain text as the reason we are going like this guy simply yes let us take do do class equal to form group yes form group contain a label label is going to be enter old password input type equal to password name equal to opwd and class equal to form control just refresh the page and check it whether it is coming or not if it is coming just we can copy paste the remaining fields yes i am getting the enter old password let me do the same for new password confirm new password let us change the label here enter new password this is going to be new password and the text box name is going to be npwd here i want to make it as a confirm new password that is the label here we have confirm new password and this is going to be cnpwd and let us finally have a submit button cnpwd that's it right keep a submit button and this is going to be update button update password so input type equal to submit sub mit and name equal to update 
name is not required actually if you want you can take it otherwise leave it we are anyhow we are not using that anywhere right so this is going to be update and button classes we have some classes right this is going to be btn and btn primary so let us have the class called btn primary yes our form is ready guys now we have to validate the old password as well as new password as well as confirm passwords right so these two validations password and confirm password validation we can do via the our form validation we have some rules right once the form is submitted there we can validate the password and confirm password guys so let us go to your controller once the form is submitted you are going to be in the same page here i have to define the validation rules first when you have to define if the form is submitted there are this of request of there is a method called get method so equal to equal to post just take this as a post now so we have to define the validation rules let us define the validation rules for the username and password yes guys my rule set is ready this is the rules for the password what are the rules you take in while registration form try to take the same rules guys here and min length and max length and this is going to be matches rule also we written here right so based on the this is going to be verified let us write the rules here dollar this of validate is a method to this we have to pass this rules if the, everything is okay fine otherwise we have to send error messages to the view let us send the error message to the view dollar data of validation equal to validator object we are going to send it to the view validator object fine initially we don't have uh, okay we take an empty error right okay no problem now we have to display error message into the front end so we have already taken the list errors right let us copy the list errors here just i want to copy this validation of list errors and keep there guys so we don't want to write this multiple time just you can copy the list errors and just keep it here that's it if you have any errors in the password validation they are going to be verified perfect now once this is done now we have to verify the old password also what are the old password you entered that also should be verified and moreover this also should be required right so the old password you are going to enter is going to be required field let us do the validation for this old password also guys quickly go to the controller and define the validation rule for opw yes guys this is the old password just i am taking the rule required rule anyhow whatever the password you are entering that i am going to verify with the database password if that is okay then fine otherwise i am going to stop you there if you are not entering anything this is going to be display errors into the front end now just submit the form and we can see the validation error messages o opwd field is required npw field is required and cnpw field is required if you want you can customize also these things right how can we customize the error messages we already know in the early password validation session we uh, sorry form validation sessions we already discussed about this if you want you can define your own rules yes own custom messages yes we can do that too also but don't worry right now i am going to collect the form data once you submitted let us collect the old password here new password confirm password does not require but uh, I first I have to verify the old password you entered is verified with the database password or not. Dollar this of request of get var. Just I am going to get the old password. Dull. This is going to be opwd. Simply take this as a old password. So we are getting the dollar opwd equal to. This old password should be verified with the database password guys. Now we have to get the database password and the password you entered and the database password both are verified. Then we are going to update the new password. Let me get this also dollar npwd equal to dollar this of request of request of get var of this is going to be npwd right perfect now we are that confirm password is not required just for uh, validation purpose only we did that validation also done in the front uh, form level validations we don't want to get the password again here old password once this old password is verified with the db then we have to update this password that's the only thing guys now now we have to get the logged in user password how can we get the logged in user password so we already written a method in the model let me get the data based on the session id guys go to your model what happened 
Guys, okay, so let me check here in this logged in user data. I think we can get the password also. Let me print this so that we will understand. Print underscore R off. Just let me print it. If password is there, we don't want to write anything, guys. Just refresh the page. Let us enter some old password. Anyhow, we are not verifying it. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Submit this. And we are getting the password of this user also, right? We don't want to write one more time. Anyhow, this is going to be an object, right? So now here I'm going to write this as a password. Let me write this as a password because there is a written an object. That's why I'm writing like this and just check this. You are going to get the password. This password is coming from database and the password you entered is matched or not. So there is a method called password verify. Write the method here, password underscore verify. Verify. There is a password. Where is your password? This is my password. NPWD. This NPWD comma and the database password, guys. If this is verified, I mean, if this method returns true, password is matched, right? Just write the write a small condition here. If this is verified, keep this into a condition, right? So we have to update it. Otherwise, we are going to display an error message by saying that old password does not match with the DB password. This is the message we are going to display there, guys. I think one more extra is there, right? Okay, right. Let us display a message session of set temp data. There is a function called temp data function. In this error, and the error message is going to be old password. Let's write a message old password. Check the message, guys. Uh, if the old password does not match the password you entered then the message is going to be like this old password does not match with the db password and uh, expiration time as we are redirecting to same page in same page anyhow we will display this message if everything is okay here we have to update the password let us write this guys here that this of we have a model d model update password update I'm writing a function update password of the logged in user. So as well as the password, this is the password, but we have to encrypt this password underscore hash is a predefined method. To this method, we have to pass the password you entered. This is the password with algorithm. So second parameter is going to be the algorithm. Let us use this as a password default. Default is the algorithm, right? So now password is encrypted. Now, what is the next thing? Nothing. We have to pass this data to database where we can update it, guys. Let us go there. Let us NPWD comma. We have to pass the session ID. I mean, session content logged in user ID. Session of get logged user. Just you can write this logged underscore user. That's it, guys. Now we have to do this into the model. We have to write this function. Go to your dashboard model and write this go to the bottom of the page and define the function update password public function update password having two parameters one is a new password comma and the id this id is nothing but uni id so let us do the same guys here right so same update query i'm going to copy the same nothing difference same table but the only thing column is going to be changed here what is the column we have the column is going to be okay id uni id uni id but the column is going to be password column and this is going to be npwd that's it guys task is done if this is updated affected rows will be one one means we are going to display a message here into the controller display a message if this is going to get a status or else directly we can write into if statement if this is updated successfully display the success message if anything wrong display that message also here that's enough right right here if everything is okay let us create a temp data with success message right this is going to be session of session of get set let us set the okay temp data we have to set right set temp data is a predefined method to this we have to pass success key su success comma write the message 
yes guys this is success message as, as well as this is the error message if updated successfully updated and if anything wrong i am displaying a message unable to update the password try again now we have to display these error message into the front end right so let us have a success message this is my success and let us have this as a error message this is going to be error and here also this is going to be error and we have to change the key of it error just change the error message here it is going to be danger d a n g e r d a n g r this is the message we are going to display let us see now if it is updated successfully and we will get the successfully updated otherwise we are not going to get the i mean we are going to get the error message go to the form and let me submit the same and let us check it guys i am entering the old password wrong actually old password is 123456 i am entering more than this 1234789 i entered but i entered these both are matched 123456 and 123456 let me check is there anything wrong i am going to submit it can you see old password does not match with the db password okay let me enter the old password actually that is going to be 123456 is the old password now i am entering these something wrong guys now can you see i am going to enter this as a 089 something i am entering i am entering some different password for this here now you are going to get an error the cnpwd does not match with the npwd field this is the error message we are going to get here guys okay now let me enter the valid data old password is 123456 is the old password i am making this as a uh, something called 098765 something i am taking here also i am i want to take the same 098765 let me update it if everything is okay now old password does not match and i am getting the same i think we are doing very big mistake guys here actually we have to pass opwd but we are passing this as a npwd right so this opwd we have to pass here the old password you entered the database password this is the mistake we are doing actually okay now let me submit this now let me check it whether it is working or not guys and let us go and submit the page <coughs> old password 1 2 3 4 5 6 and enter the new password 7897897897 7897897 right so let us submit this now now we can see password updated successfully let me log out from the application after logging out let me log out uh, i logged out right let us enter the old password 123456 i am submitting you cannot log in why because wrong password you entered what is the password just now we change it right 7897897 submit this now you are able to log into your application yes this is all about the change password functionality guys thank you guys if you have any doubts please comment under the video section thank you all